and hugs. She's a woman who's dedicated her life to helping others with the simplest of gestures and embrace. This humble Indian woman who's currently on a U.S. tour is drawing thousands of people with the power of a hug. I recently caught up with a special holy woman in New York City who's affectionately called the Hugging Saint. I think that it's almost magnetic to get drawn here. We have a heart which is so locked up and Anna can just open it up a little bit. She's a lot like Mother Teresa. She is a selfless servant for humanity, a soft-spoken woman whose love and compassion touches all corners of the globe. In cities around the U.S. and the world, thousands of people wait hours in long lines to receive the blessing of a simple embrace. From her humble beginnings as the daughter of a poor fisherman in southern India to being recognized as an international spiritual icon, Mata Amritananda Mai is affectionately called Amachi by her followers. Amachi means mother, and her message is simple yet potent. Open your heart. With love, all things are possible. Seen as a modern-day saint of compassion in India, she often sits for 16 or more uninterrupted hours giving darshan, a Sanskrit term which means vision and is used to describe the meeting with a holy person. She listens to people's troubles and whispers blessings in their ears without pause for food or a sip of water. She rarely gets more than two hours of sleep a day. It's estimated that she's given hugs to more than 26 million people. If you ask her what her religion is, she'd say her religion is love. She encourages people to go deeper into their own faith, to be better Christians, to be better Muslims, to be better Jews. You know, whatever their path, follow that path. She makes no claims that through her, one will find salvation, prosperity, or miracles. Yet so many of those who come to see her believe that she's a holy woman who has the power to console and heal the world's wounded hearts. Amachi says these hugs create a special connection. It's the connection between mother and child. It's the umbilical cord of love. Amachi also makes it clear to her there is no distinction between rich or poor. Her arms are open to everyone. I accept, I accept everything. I see everything equally. I am constantly giving the love. There's no difference to it. Since early childhood, she's been devoted to offering herself to the poor, the abandoned, and heartbroken souls. If you have compassion, you can solve 80% of the problems in today's world. She's helped millions. Her charitable network builds hospitals, orphanages, and schools in India. When the tsunami hit back in 2005, she made sure that thousands of homes were rebuilt. Here in the U.S., she's raised more than a million dollars to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Amachi believes that everyone can make a difference. What I feel is that in today's society, everyone should become a role model. Everyone should set an example. Everyone should become noble. It all begins with unlocking the heart. That's Amachi's unwavering mission, rooted in the belief that this can change the world. If there is love, there is hope. Love is the only hope. Love is like the cool, gentle breeze that can remove the dark clouds of negativities. You know, people often ask if she gets tired from sitting for hours hugging people, and she happily says no, that she receives lots of energy from doing this. And from the U.S., it's on to South America, where we hear big crowds will be waiting for her there. Eric? What an inspiration and what a spiritual story. An Thank amazing you, woman. Absolutely. Well, we're a little more than two, 22 hours away now from the opening bell on Wall Street.